Now let us proceed to property number four. Property number four, a diagonal of a parallelogram, divides the parallelogram into two congruent triangles. So, to illustrate, let's have this parallelogram A, B, C, D. So, if we're going to draw our, par uh, our diagonal, let's say B, D, diagonal B, D, it will divide the parallelogram into two congruent triangles. So, your task, given the parallelogram A, B, C, D with diagonal A, A, B, C, D with diagonal, we're going to use that, B, D. With diagonal B, D. We're going to prove that triangle ABD is congruent to triangle CDB. So triangle ABD is congruent to triangle CDB. We're going to use the two-column proof, the statement, and the reasons. So of course, in our proving, in our statement and reason, write all first the given. So our given. Parallelogram ABCD, parallelogram ABCD with diagonal, with diagonal BD. Okay, that is our reason given. Second, we can say that since the given is a parallelogram, so opposite angles, I oh know we're going to use the sides, opposite sides are congruent. So BD side BD is congruent to side AD. Okay. And side AB is congruent to side CD. That is our property number one. Opposite sides of parallelogram. Okay. Parallelogram are congruent. Okay. Now, our third statement. We know that BD is equal to BD. So if we're going to split the two triangle, we can say that BD is congruent to BD. That is according to our reflexive property of congruence. Reflexive property of congruence, your lesson when you were in grade 8. And last, we can now conclude that triangle ABD is congruent to triangle CDB. That is using the SSS congruence postulate. Okay. And we're now then improving diagonals of a parallelogram divides the parallelogram into two congruent triangles. That is our property number four.